Hi, welcome to Spare Parts Garage. Today we're going to remove the rear end in my 81 El Camino and replace it with an upgrade in the way of an 8.5 Posi from a Grand National. Now I know this is a big job and it might be a little intimidating. The rear end is heavy and awkward and you don't want to tie up your garage for weeks on end. I'm not going to lie, this is a big job, but it's not terribly difficult. Just make sure you have a couple of extra hands and a good jack. If you're focused, the entire job will take about a half a day. Removing and reinstalling the drum brakes will be a pain, but once that's over, there's only two cables, one line, four bolts, and two nuts. Here's the tools you'll need. You may have to break into your grandfather's toolbox for this one. It's specifically made for drum brakes. All the bolts and nuts on this job are 18 millimeter, or at least they were on my car. Okay. As far as order of operations, here's the list. No longer surprise, just thought we'd do it faster. What's that? Probably some broken wheels, full short jack in there. Might have helped. Yeah. Nobody said we were smart men. A couple of tips and tricks. Start spraying all of the hardware a couple of days before. Enlist at least one person to help. Two is better. Check your line on that one, we'll make sure we're okay. If you want to. Ooh, we got air shocks. Look at us. Air shocks. Air shocks. <laughs> that came off easy. And we definitely have some leaking brakes. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's disgusting. Downright disgusting. But let's get it on film. Put it all back together. I can see how it goes back together. This is your side and go. Milli does work. You can see the prongs that hold the cable in the housing. The 13 millimeter box end depresses the prongs and allows you to pull it through. hidden up here. My 15 millimeter brake line wrench was a little big, but it worked. I used a crescent wrench on the bottom side and had no problem. Use pliers to pull out the shim and the brake line will slide through the hole. Since the control arms were going with the rear end to the next car, I removed the upper bolts. The nut's kind of hard to get to on the back side. This is a good time to replace all of the bushings and upgrade as many parts as you can. I used UMI upper and lower control arms and polyurethane bushings. The bolt fits through the frame rail, into the pocket, and out the other side. And finally, the two nuts holding on the shocks. So why should you upgrade your rear end? 
99% of G bodies came with a 7.5 inch rear end. Gear ratios varied, but most were set up for cruising and gas mileage. All of them sent power to just one wheel. So if you have a healthy small block or an LS motor in your G body, you are making way more power than that little 7.5 inch rear end was ever meant to handle. The last place you want to be is stranded on the side of the road with your girl after you decided to show her what your car can do. That's no way to facilitate the hobby. Don't be that guy. Or... Oopsie. That's one way. Well, there's a fun part to this job. This is the old sit and lift trick, right? Yeah. Do you want help? Like uh, screw it clockwise. Clockwise? Mm hmm. Until it stops. Yeah. Okay. okay. That's good. Right. You are now qualified to work in the spare parts room. Please watch your toes to leave the premises with home. Keep the building, keep it going. I chose to go with an 8.5 inch rear end out of a Buick Grand National. It's a direct bolt in with no modifications. Although you may have to shorten your drive shaft. You want to grab that and kind of swing it a little? Whoa. I don't know. Now we reverse everything we just did. shocks in, springs in, everything's tight, brake line is fastened. Really the only thing I have left to do on this project is get the brakes back on. The Grand National rear ends are still around. I just did a search on Facebook Marketplace and found one for 1200 bucks in Houston. They came in 1984 through 87 Oldsmobile Cutlass 442s, as well as the Turbo Rebus. Not all of them were posse track. Mine is posse track, and it has a 342 gear. And just like that, the job is over. If you found this video helpful, hit the subscribe button for me and click on the playlist to learn more about the sport.